What's going on, guys? Welcome back to A&E Podcast. Let's get right into the... In, uh, like, very beneficial. <laughs> well, like, something like that. Uh, good. <laughs> <laughs> See, and it's clear. Because I was just like, oh, look at them. Good for them. <laughs> What's your favorite or best performance? Who would you say are your favorites personally? Who is your favorite person to call? And also, if there's a difference, who's your favorite person to watch live? If it's not the same thing, what was your favorite call? Definitely my favorite so far. I'm like, this is my favorite, favorite performance. and just be good with me. What's going on, guys, and welcome back to another Top 5 episode. Uh, today, we're doing an interesting topic. We're going to go actors or superheroes by the actor. So as you know, there are a lot of Batmans, there are a lot of Spider-Mans, a lot of Supermans. So we're going to be choosing our Top 5 by the actor who played them. And Bailey has the first pick for this one. So Bailey, you can go ahead and start. I'm very excited to have the first pick for this one. Um, clear-cut number one favorite, Christian Bale is Batman. Got uh. it. Yeah, I had to. Well, what yeah, else? It, it was it was it was my first pick. I had him on the list too. Um, I'm gonna go right with another classic. I'm going Tobey Maguire Spider Man. Okay, yeah, yeah. I had him number two, definitely. Um, my number two overall pick. I'm going with Robert Downey Jr. as Iron Man. You know, not a fan of Iron Man. You're not a fan of Iron Personally, Man. Personally, I'm not a fan of Iron Man. I just in my opinion, he takes away from the whole superhero because he has his suit. He's just more of a millionaire that's smart than a superhero. That's the same thing as Batman. What? See, but Batman's able to fight. So can Iron Man. In a suit. Yeah, but bro, the suit, you still have to be able to fight or else you're just walking around in a suit. But you're, it's, it's, look at Batman. It's not, like the, it's not like the suit controls him. He still controls the suit. He's, he's using a robotic suit. Bro, but he's still control. He's still the one in control of the suit. I understand that, but you have the advantage when you're a man of steel. Okay, yeah, but it's still very susceptible. If you've seen every movie that Iron Man's been in, you see that suit is very susceptible to like weaknesses and stuff like that, bro. It's not just the suit. It's not like he, the suit is the superhero. He is the superhero. Don't disrespect Iron Man ever again. <laughs> moving on my second pick i'm going jamie lee curtis and halloween no i'm joking i'm not actually doing that. <laughs> i was like wait what yeah okay um i am going with chris evans as captain america okay okay solid, solid choice pick. solid choice um with my third pick i i think it, you you dropped off a huge one i think you dropped off a huge one I I too. my third pick i'm going with hugh jackman as wolverine Mm. yeah yeah it was there it was there i was gonna see if how how late i could get wolverine uh obviously because of all the marvel characters but i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna take uh who is now a long lost legend and i'm gonna go chadwick boseman as black panther okay that's a good pick i had him a little bit later just because i didn't think you'd say him but good pick um what am i on four now i'm on my fourth pick yes sir um, man, it, it's getting tough. It is. It is. I'm going to go with, I'm going to, I'm going to go with, um, uh, I'm going to throw out Tom Holland, Tom Holland, Spider-Man. All right. Um, obviously, Tobey Maguire is like the iconic classic Spider-Man, but I don't think Tom Holland is that far off from him. I think Tom Holland is also a great Spider-Man. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go with him. All right, another. It's it's hard for me because I do. It's not that I don't like Tom Holland. I don't like the Superman. I mean the Spider Man that he portrays the movie, where he's sort of just like this dumb kid. If that makes any sense, uh, just because again, growing up on the classic Spider Man, where he's not this kid that sort of ruins everything, and that's the character that he plays, and it's not his fault. It's the like it's the producer's fault, and you know, script writer. So it's not his fault, but it's just so hard for me to enjoy that Spider Man when we grow up on a Spider Man. It's, that's the hero. And I know that he is, obviously, but you, does that make sense? Does that make sense? I don't know how to explain it. All right, I don't know how to explain it. That doesn't um, make we'll any come, sense. We'll come back to that. You're just hating on my guy, Tom Holland, bro. <laughs> You're just hating on my whole team. Um, Fine. I'm going to go with my fourth pick, another person who I truly and, and 
I, I love him as an actor. I'm going to go with Chris Hemsworth as Thor. Okay. Thank God you didn't take my pick. Good pick, though. Good pick. Good pick. I, I think that Thor definitely helps out in just about every Marvel movie he's in. He's a very comedic character, uh, as well as easily one of the best superheroes. Well, in his, in his later movies. His first movies were not great. Yeah, what? yeah I mean, but again, it's not really his fault. It's production's fault. Yeah, but. no. Yeah. Uh, with my fifth and final pick. Oh, actually, wait. Damn it. I'm going to pick the other guy up as an undrafted free agent. With my fifth pick, I'm, uh, I'm going to go with Ryan Reynolds as Deadpool. Um, Good pick. That counts as a hero, right? Yeah, yeah. He's an anti-hero. In the movies, he's a hero, kind of. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to go with Deadpool right there. Um, yeah. All right, see, so, now this one's a little hard, too. Um, uh, I'm going to, since it's the last pick, I'm going to say right now, it is a close tie between, I want to say three people. Um, we have we have Ruffalo as the Hulk, obviously, another character who is comical and plays one of the most iconic superheroes of all time. Um, I do have Garfield as Spider Man. Oh, Andrew <laughs> Garfield. yeah, yeah, yeah. Andrew Garfield. I and- said Garfield. I was like. <laughs> Superhero, bro? No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Andrew Garfield. Andrew Garfield, yeah, yeah. Um, okay. And the last one I have, it's this is like controversial, I'd say, is Robert Pattinson as the new Batman. Um, I think that he just played the role phenomenally. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think I don't think I'm gonna take him. Um, I think you know what, I'm gonna go with Andrew Garfield as Batman. Uh, I think that hit the emotions that he had in the movie were just truly amazing. Like, you could feel everything, uh, you know, that he portrays an actor that in the movie in certain scenes you could see how upset he's actually getting oh, so yeah. i'm gonna go i'm gonna go garfield with my uh with my last pick why are you smiling why are you smiling i would pick because because i'm picking up i'm picking up my undrafted free agent in uh robert pattinson bro there you go yeah yeah, I, yeah he's, free agent, six man he, bro he played he played a great batman man like it was yeah. it was it was great i just the raw talent that he had in that role was insane. Like he, 100%. he was built for that not yeah. speaking role where he's just going and, and doing whatever he needs to do to get it to like the job done. And it was great. Yeah, um, like you saw that last pick, I was struggling between the two. Yeah. 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 I, I, it's funny because I was thinking about it and I was like, you know what? He was really good, but I feel like people hate, hate me so much if he's been a top five superhero. Technically, it's top ten though. Technically, it's in top ten between both of us. Yes. Yeah. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and take my free agent, and my free agent is the goat Buzz Lightyear. Had to had to add him in there. Plus, is a superhero. I guess so, right? He is I guess he's that man. Yeah. He's sure. a, I would think that he's the only one that in the movie is a superhero. No. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> what well, I mean. Yeah. So that's my that's my last right there. Um. I also had Jeremy Renner as Hawkeye on my list. Um, and then Michael Keaton as Batman also. And those were the that was the rest of my list besides uh besides Patterson and Buzz Lightyear, obviously. Uh those are my those are my lists. But that that one, I think that this draft was a lot closer than the last one was, in my opinion. No, I swept you, bro. I swept you. I think I think you might have this one, but we'll see what the people You're say. You're losing in four games. We'll see what the people say. I think that with the last episode we did, though, I might have killed you. Um, Possibly. But this is a good one. But we're going to end the episode here. And we do have a few more top five episodes coming your way very soon. So make sure you guys stay tuned for those. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you soon. Peace.